All right, so on today's assignment, you are going to be doing a Google slide. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the directions so you know how to do this assignment. And then I'll see you today in small groups and we can go over this if you have any questions. So today we're gonna be working on parts of the same whole. So on the first slide it says what fragment is represented for each part. So of course you're gonna have to figure out what's your total. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count my total and then I'm going to figure out which part is green, which part is orange, which part is blue, which part is pink. And I'm going to put my inches in on this line. Okay. And so then it says what percent is represented for each part. We will go over that part today together. Um, but when it says what decimal remember that you're going to take your you're going to take your decimal i mean you're going to take your fraction and divide it so you're going to be using what we've been learning since last friday and divide your fractions to find your decimals for each of the green orange blue and pink um and then right here it says complete the table using the model so once again you're going to get your fraction so you're going to just count your total and then find your parts for each color. And then where it says equivalent fraction, this is where you simplify your fraction. So I mean, basically you're making your fraction smaller. So for example, if I have four eighths, I would reduce that and I'll make that into one half because I'm trying to make that into a smaller fraction. Your decimal, you're going to once again, type in your decimal by um, doing fraction as division. So dividing your fraction to find your decimal. And then you have your last slide and it says fraction, it says equivalent fraction. So for example, right here with 7 20ths, you wouldn't be able to reduce that because they don't share anything. They don't share a, great, a common factor. So this is where you would want to make find a, fa a fraction that um, is the same. So for example, if I multiply my numerator and denominator both by 2, I would get 7 times 2 and that's 14. 20 times 2, that is uh 40 and that's an equivalent fraction then i would um do my desk find my decimal by dividing my fraction once again um and yes and we will basically just go ahead and give this a try because this is going to be up for the rest of the week but we're going to be going over this in small group to make sure we truly understand how to do this um Yes, so I will see you guys today in small group.